So here's the new logo. It's commercial chaos. That's what we're going to call it for now. I think it has a nice ring to it. It's simple. You know what it is. It's effective. The logo is fantastic. And I think uh, it communicates what it needs to. A lot of other really great suggestions, and I appreciate them very much. I liked um, Scommercials. That was a good one. Ad Nausea was a good one. And, you know, we'll see if it sticks commercial chaos. But right now, it's as sticky as the commercials themselves. Modest Narcissus made this. Narcissus? I'm not trying to say that, but yeah. So, I like the logo. We're going to stick with it. Tonight, chat, I've got mobile ads, of course. I've got local ads from around the world again, like that crazy butt commercial from Sweden that was totally real. And I have classic video game commercials, another pack Got infinite commercials, so I guess this is what we're doing. And you know what? Today's the day of the Super Bowl. Like I said before, that is the true purpose of the Super Bowl, the ads. So we're going to start with a little commercial here. I've got a, a couple of random ones before we begin in any categories. And uh, what have we got here? Huh. Is that the Mario Brothers? We're the Mario Brothers and plumbing's a game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. When your sick is in trouble, you could call us on the double. We're faster than the others, you'll be hooked on the brothers. I can't believe it. Thank you, Super Mario Bros. It seems like the only thing you haven't drained is my bank account. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. For super service, call or text Super Mario Bros. Plumbing today at 92955-MARIO. Or reach us on the World Wide Web okay. at smbplumbing.com. Hang on. So I saw on the website, they said that they only service Brooklyn and Queens. What the hell are you talking about? Only Brooklyn and Queens. I'm in Staten Island. Okay. I'm calling this number. We're going to find out what is going on here. Thank you for calling Super Mario Brothers Plumbing. It's the mini Luigi. No, it's Charlie Day. Why don't you use guys come to Staten Island? Staten Island, New York. Hey, fuckface, we're a borough too, you know? We're sick of being ignored. We need some pipes cleaned here. Who, who the fuck is this chuckle fuck? This fucking guy doesn't even come to Staten Island. He's trying to tell me about a Mario Brothers movie. I don't know. What is he doing? He sounds like Charlie from fucking Always Sunny. Anyway, I thought that was a good commercial. And uh, I really liked the... Um, I, they brought the song back. This is how you appeal to olds like myself. Your brothers and plumbing's a game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. It's so perfect. And they end and this is a pure version. I mean, they low resed it, but the version of the song is pure. So I don't know where they got this from. And the voice actress is actually um, Peach, Princess Toadstool. It's true. It's the same voice actress. So, you know. Genie Elias, yep. It worked on me, everybody. If this is commercial chaos, then surely this will be a classic. And this just got released like two hours ago. Double, it worked. The others, you'll be hooked on the brothers. You know, I wasn't going to see the movie up until this commercial. No, I'm kidding. It seems like the only thing you haven't drained is As an Italian, I am contractually obligated to see this movie anyway. For Mario Bros. Plumbing today at 92955-MARIO. And you die before you go to hell. All right, let's continue along. But anyone uh, anyone here like other commercials? What other, what other commercials do we have? We got... I'm a big dude, and I got a big appetite. Where am I going to eat today? Oh, God. That looks pretty good. Authentic spicy beef. I'm going to eat this with a fork. What you got there? Crab legs? All uh, you can eat. Is I'm this real? Some meat smegrons. 
This can't be real. Woo-wee, Shadowstar! Good for a hunger man like me, or the whole family. Even the little critters. I'll eat all right beneath the light of a china I'm trying to star. find a good volume. I'm a big dude. I got a big appetite. That's why I love China Star. I want to put that egg roll in my mouth hole. Sometimes I'm just too busy. You heard me. I'm going to dial Got me too busy? Star. Really? Me over some of that authentic spicy beef. It's for authentic well, spicy right beef. Sweet and sour. Don't forget the wontons. 942999. But people remember stuff like this. That's the thing. Like, you just act like such a tool in a commercial, and people will remember it and then submit it to a classic game commercial segment on my stream. What does it have to do with games? Well, nothing yet, but soon. Soon they will have games here on this segment. Who's they? Me. I, I just spot one land in the meadows. Now I'm getting paid cash with Alice Earth. Yeah, oh, I hate this. All across the globe. Across the globe. The next wave is digital. Catch me on the way up. The glow up is visible. Couple, couple more. Oh my god, I'm cringing. The glow up is about to go nuts. It's about to go nuts. Now I'm getting paid rent and cash with Alice Earth. There's UFOs in our sky right now. It, lads, it's time. It's time. Alice Earth. Alice, Alice Earth. Why are you speaking like that? I know that is quote unquote singing, but there's just uh, like a tone to the voice. I mean, I know it's a lot of auto tune as well, but oh God, it's so, this is, this is painful. And someone in chat just said Zoomer Luigi. Yeah, no, you're not. You are absolutely not. You're not making money from virtual land. land across the globe, across the globe. All right, I gotta, I gotta stop with this commercial because I, I know the word cringe is totally overused, but there's a part of me that actually did like go inside myself, like for uh, whatever that even means. I'm not sure, but awful. Hello, honey. Uh oh. It's your friend's mom, Corey Chase. I found my stepson's phone. And guess what I saw there? This viral mobile RPG game called Hero Wars. <laughs> Some of you naughty boys have been telling me about it. And I've decided to try it. Oh my god, I would have never thought that my fingers can give me so much pleasure. Are you kidding me? How can you play a game like that, they, you naughty boy? They paid for this on cameo <laughs> oh my god what happens if i get those girls what are you talking about why didn't anyone tell me that after the tutorial it gets even hotter what do you mean hotter it's a zombie uh, game i made it through the first chapter and discovered dozens of fantastic characters this isn't real it How turned out to be a huge fantasy universe with millions of players online I've looked into this. Game Millions of players. Hero Wars to see if there were any other. Why is this woman so large? <laughs> and, uh, you will play it anyway. Why don't the cowards that run the Super Bowl show this commercial? Like, I don't understand. They've got this perfectly good commercial here and they're not showing this. I, I don't know, man. This is. Uh, yeah, I guess you can just go on Cameo now and hire someone for a quick ad read and have it be completely disconnected from your uh, game. All right, cool. Now, gotcha. And so you see, with only a games console, a handful of passes by in the stapler, I can change my old games into cash. As the game passes through the console into the combined canals of the subjects, the game is reborn as glorious what? cash. What the Another fuck? Another option would have been to sell my old games to sex. But where's sex? the fun in that, huh? Where's the fun in that? <laughs> cash for games. The painless way. Sex. <laughs> Come on, you can't name yourself that. Is it, Chad, is this real? It, was there really a thing called sex? It, that was a real store. It's a British secondhand store. Why was their ad so scummy? Oh, that was that was uh, okay. 
I guess that's one way to do it. Is you just you just name you just name your your place after after sex, and then yeah. And then you sell. It sells. Sex sells. C e l l s. I am always thinking of new dreams. Jar -jar. I dream of visions which have yet to be seen. Which have not yet been heard. He's reading from a script. Did you see Yoda turn from like a bug to a scummy creature? Oh, that's so strange. I wonder if Tony Daniels actually showed up to go in the suit for this. I've got nothing better to do. It's fine. Okay, um, so that's an 80s commercial. That, so that's before the prequels. That's just as Star Wars was becoming a little less popular. So I would assume like 89, 88. But uh, yeah, that's canon. That's, that's real. Like Vader, it was in that field with Stormtroopers and C-3PO and, and Chewie. I don't know when it takes place, but Wikipedia probably has it somewhere in there. I, I'll tell you what, I'm going to write a, a little... I'll see you, man. I'll write a little script for this. Huh? Uh-oh. Chat, what? I'm- I'm sweating. What is this fucking commercial? Huh? That's the actor from Train Spotting. Oh, I see what they're doing here. Oh my god. Oh, this is what that dude at the Game Awards was talking about. I get it now. Even Appledorn Bellin? What are you talking about? What is that word? D. Verzakering Smachnapuj. Okay. It's an insurance ad. Why did it have to start with a big fucking cock? Like, I really didn't need to see that. <sighs> Please note, this actually aired on television. And that was a museum, and that was art, but great, great commercial. Okay, well, that is uh, a commercial that was, okay, we'll just go on to the classic video game commercial, shall we? So I'm going to start with the classic video game commercials. We're going to move in segments from those <laughs> to the local commercials to the mobile game Commercials. We'll end with those because those are the most cursed, as you all know. What time will my daughter be home? The passive type probably plays Nintendo. What time will my daughter be home? Oh, yeah, Mario World. Somewhere between 10 and 2. The aggressive type probably plays Sega. What time will my daughter be home? You want her back? And the other type definitely plays 3DO, the most advanced home gaming system in the universe. <sighs> Come on. Get a free John Madden football and crash and burn when you buy a 3DO system. You have the balls. You have the balls to show Mario World as if that's a bad thing. Get out of here. So we got some football references tonight. The McVickers came to me. They wanted advice. Investments, savings. That's what I do. And I go strictly by the book. The video game and electronic toy book by Toys R Us. There's over $500 in coupons. You Trying can to save get the volume right. select Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo games like Shaq Fu and a wealth of games like Sonic 1 and Star Fox are just $19.97. Whoa, whoa, $20 for Star, Star Fox. Car. Get this savings book now at Toys R Us. <clears throat> or 
the Sunday's paper. Oh, okay. Man, imagine that. You buy it for 20 bucks, and then you artificially inflate the market 30 years later, and then you try to pretend like a graded like copy of Star Fox is worth like $500. And then it turns out, due to inflation, you only made three dollars. Crazy. Video game mania is happening only at Video Game Exchange. Come in and trade those games you don't play for something exciting and different. Video Game Exchange. You can try any of our used games before you buy. And if you have any questions, hey there, happy to help you with your video game questions. Level three is real hard. Store. Let me teach you how to get We're past it, my dude. Selection, great prices. Service and trade in value for your old video games only at Video Game Exchange. Where is that? Where's North Cobb? Who lives here? Who, who lives near uh, in North Cobb and Austell? I don't know where that is. Near Walmart. Uh, what, what state? I'm, I'm trying to look for people in chat who may have lived near this place. Georgia? Okay. Oh, I don't have uh, YouTube poops today for you, chat. Because I need whatever brain cells I have left. It's not very many. And I decided we need... Uh, I need a break from the poops. Don't worry, I have enough cursed commercials to carry you through the night. But if they come back, I'll make sure they're worth coming back to. Tonight, though, I had no patience to make them. As the program only works one in ten poops anyway, so... I just excise that from, <laughs> but tradition, yeah, well, I mean, you know, some people stab themselves in the heart for tradition. Is that a good tradition? No. Why does this make my head feel weird? Chat, the audio mixing is fucking weird. Oh, it's phased so badly. That is horrendous audio mixing. It's completely out of phase. It, that was really, like, it made me feel dizzy. Sledgehammer. Oh, this is a classic. We, I, we've seen this. I said, here, chap, shouldn't you go on a diet? Are you talking to me? Hmm, maybe if these guys would make these holes bigger, I could fit easy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I'll help you out. No yep. worries, no. I'm going to show it again because it's just that good. We come from the action 52 game world where every game is... Yeah, we're talking action and love. Terrible. Every game is terrible. Dragon Adventure, even war games. Yeah, dude. We even got rescue games and... Yeah, even war too. games. Like I... Hey, what about you guys? Oh, yeah. We're in there, too. That's and now the Cheetah Men. Yes, but that's another story. If you want the ultimate game challenge, you have to get Action 52. Yeah, it's so cool. 52 games in one, and you can even play it on Nintendo. Man, it's This commercial awesome. didn't even air on TV. Now I believe it. A store near you. I mean, for those that don't know Action 52, it is one of the worst things you can ever play. It's just... It's 51 terrible games. Isn't it only 51? <laughs> or, or was it actually 52? It is 52. Okay, gotcha. Well, I mean, you know, some of them don't really work. And it costs like 250 bucks. I played it too many times. I would never, I would never wish that on my worst nightmare. Having a famous father isn't all that great. Is it Anthony Michael so Hall? Recognized, gets tons of letters, and people think I get everything I want. Wait, who is this? Wrong. Last Christmas, I wanted Kaboom, Laser Blast, and Freeway, three knockout video games from Activision. Well, I got two, so I don't get everything I want. This year, I want Mega Mania and Grand Prix and... Son? Yeah, Mom? Uh, your father wants to know if you fed the reindeer. Gotta go. Oh, it's Santa's son. That voiceover of Mrs. Claus was like the most professional voice acting I've ever heard. That was like a 50s voice acting woman. Having a fan. Free and done. Yeah, mom. Your father wants to know if you fed the reindeer. Wilma, I'm not ready to feed the reindeer yet, Wilma. Sega challenges you with Afterburner, a game so exciting. 
exciting you can imagine. You're in for the fight of your life. Does that count? He went into the TV. Afterburner. Technically. Dogfight excitement of the arcade version. Yeah. Like barrel rolls, closed eyes, supersonic speed, and radar lock on. Wow. Your turn up burn. Let's take it home. Afterburner. Only on the Sega system. They tried. Sega. The challenge will always be there. I mean, listen, the, um, the Cheetah Men came out of a TV. This dude got zapped into the video game. So, something. I never played Afterburner. Was that any good? Some people seem to have some nostalgia for that. It, it was good? Okay. Look, football, everybody! Super Bowl 18. Raiders 28 to 9. Is this real? Is this the score at Super Bowl 18, which, which is happening right now? Washington and the Raiders? Chat, is the Raiders even a team anymore? <laughs> oh, they are. Wow, that's... I, I know a lot about football, don't I? Oh, yeah, this is the famous Apple commercial directed by Ridley Scott. Um, interesting that some of the football was kept on this commercial. But yeah, this is literally 1984. Like, genuinely. Wait, so chat, is, is today Super Bowl 49? And you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984. 57. Wow, I'm really good at math. <laughs> I'm fucking amazing at math. Oh shit, sports? And the World Speed Skating Championships next weekend on CBS Sports. Wait, suddenly, why was that dude, like, big? Oh, because it's a football man. I see. Okay. Here's... Okay, then they tried to top that the year after. Because that commercial had a huge response and is, like, famous to this day. And then this is a 1985 Apple commercial. I've never seen this one. On January They're just trying to get a reservation at Dorsia. Computer will announce the Macintosh office. You can look into it. Or you can go on with business as usual. Okay. Yep. Gonna want to buy that product now. Thanks. And apparently this one's from 1999. Hello, Dave. You're looking well today. <laughs> Dave, do you remember the year 2000? In when the year computers 2000. began to misbehave? I just wanted you to know. It really wasn't our fault. The human programmers never taught us to recognize the year 2000. When the new millennium arrived, we had no choice but to cause a global economic disruption. N no, you didn't. It was a bug, Dave. No. I feel much better admitting that now. Didn't happen. Only Macintosh was designed to function perfectly. Go fuck saving yourself. Saving billions of monetary units. Nope. Didn't happen. You like your Macintosh better than me, don't you, Dave? That's pretty fucking scummy. Dave. I'm trying to scare people into buying Dave? your fucking products. I, I really don't like Apple. It's funny because the irony is of the um, 1984 commercial and the Lemmings commercial. That's just like what they are now. Just, just consume product. Do not ask question. If any comp Listen, I tolerate Microsoft. I tolerate them, but I just, 
something about Apple grinds my gears. You know what I mean? It really grinds my gears. You got to eat in Kellogg's Apple Jack? Duh. <laughs> but it doesn't taste like apples. So, and you like it? Duh. <laughs> Why? We just do, okay? Apple and Apple Jack <laughs> are part of this complete breakfast. You can't explain its great taste, so I try. Kellogg's Apple Jack. We just get it. Know how to get the invincibility star? Oh, and now Mario World. Strategy maps on marked boxes of Kellogg's Apple Jacks give you the edge in six Nintendo games. Wait, what, really? Yo, there was one from Metroid? You guys give you the edge. Look, look, there's a Metroid strategy guide. Huh. So they admitted it didn't taste like apples. I gotta be honest with you, chat. Oh, that's Metroid 2, sorry. I gotta be honest with you, chat. The fact that they didn't taste like apples was a good thing for me growing up. Because the name Apple Jacks actually made me not want to eat them. I was like, I'll have the fruit fruit loops instead. When I had Apple Jacks for the first time as a kid, I was like, oh good, this isn't apple taste. Because I didn't want fruit in my cereal as a kid. I wanted sugary, like, diarrhea dumps. And that's what I got from Apple Jacks. Dear Atari Anonymous, ever since my husband Luno returned from Earth with asteroids to new Atari home video games, he and the rest of the family do not This is just Star Trek aliens. <laughs> like, it's the same amount of effort. Good practice for his interplanetary life. Mario! Tell me, dear Atari Anonymous, with everybody hooked on asteroids, what on Earth is a poor Martian mother to do? New Atari Asteroids, now available for your home. What if, like, they were just chilling above Alaska, and they were just playing Atari? Like, they, they abducted someone's Atari and made the, the value go up by, like, $2,000. And then they're just chilling and, like, being happy and weird, and we just, just shot them out of the sky. Poor bastards. This commercial is based on a true story. Hang on, let me rewind that. This commercial is based. Is it now? A true story. Hello, Tracy. No, we don't need a babysitter tonight. Thanks anyway. After a family bought an Atari video game, they had no trouble. Fix your fucking VCR. <laughs> Hello, Kate. No, we don't need a babysitter tonight. Bye. Everybody enjoys Atari because Atari has so many different games to enjoy. Hello, Karen. No, we don't need a babysitter tonight. No other company offers you as many different video game cartridges as Atari. And you can enjoy games with your whole family. Um, you can play E.T. You can, and your alien family even, play E.T. aboard a spaceship over Alaska. I'd like the most popular home video game system ever. Oh, the system you want is the Atari 2600. That's yeah, for a little while at least. system that can play hundreds of games. Oh, then what you want is the Atari 2600. But I'd like the system that can also play educational games for my children. Then what you want is the Atari 2600. Fuck price. Wait, 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 wait. What did he say? Is the Atari 2600. Fuck price. Ooh, the Fuck Atari the price. Is the Atari 2600. Fuck price. Ooh. Best unintentional skip that was like the perfect moment for that to happen fuck price the atari 2600 is the atari 2600 fuck price oh the atari 2600 is priced incredibly low <laughs> that's what i want the atari 2600 now with its new exciting games at a new low price uh, chad it was a natural poop that was an unforced poop you know what let me tell you what that commercial was this commercial is based on Damn it, I screwed it up. The fun is back, as you can see, with the 2600. What happens at this? Still under 50 I love bucks, this thing, more. this aesthetic. A stack of new games at the video store. In real sports, boxing, to the bridge. Midnight magic is an arcade blast. Like a pinball wizard, you got to be fast. Fire Solaris to protect your base. Then blast off into hyperspace. The fun is back. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> 2600 games from Atari. It sounds so much like the Mario Brothers rap. But man, man, that is a blast from the past. I love that shit. Vinny, when they try to do it now, it's cringe. I guess so. <laughs> Wait, when I try to do it, it's cringe. Cringe. 
This is an arcade game. This is the new Atari Super System. Arcade? Atari Super System. You may like the Super System better. It has some of the best arcade and sports games. And plays every Atari cartridge. It even does something no arcade game can. Telephone! Great audio on this one. It lets you freeze the action. Hello, Judy. The new 5200 Super System. Yeah. Uh, I'm good on Atari for a while. I'm going to play my Nintendo Entertainment System, I think. I hear there's a, a thing called a Master System coming out. Someone said, Vinny, go back to that smile. Judy. That's, that's a pretty alright face. I think he's turtly enough for the Turtle Club. The more game cartridges a video game system plays, the more fun it is. No. And the Atari 7800 plays more games than the competition. Yeah. And they're about half the price. Super oh. games like Ball Blazer, one-on-one oh. basketball, You didn't really have much of a choice games, there. You dropped games, the ball so hard, Giga, Atari. Trick, impossible Mission, arcade classics like Pole Position, Centipede, Xevious, Deluxe Asteroids, Ms. Pac-Man, Joust, Galaga, Choplifter, Robotron 2084. All 2600 games like Solaris, Midnight Magic, Football, Kung Fu Master, Move Patrol. The Atari 7800. More games at about half the price. I mean, you can't deny backwards compatibility is a great feature. And at that time, that's a thumbs up for me. But a lot of that stuff is just arcade stuff ported over. And it's, you know, back in the late 80s when the 7800 came out, maybe you'd be into it or maybe you'd want to play that Sanic or maybe you'd want to be playing Zelda or something. But um, you know what? For me, even in the, the little bit of the 80s and early 90s, I remember... Atari was just seen as lame. No one had an Atari. No one wanted one. It was like, that's the past. So. I'm like really into video games, you know? Like for sure, totally. And Atari has a song yeah. that's like so awesome, I am sure. Yeah. Okay, now you can get an Atari video game cartridge free. Like totally. That's like so tubular, you know? Uh, okay. Buy two of these great hits, and Atari will send you any one of these great games free. That's like so 83. Super, super nice to the max. I like Chat, who's going to tell them? <laughs> Buy two, get one free. For sure. Who's, who's going to tell them <laughs> what's going to happen that year? <laughs> Give an Atari touch tablet to a talented young Wait, artist. Wait, Alan Alda? To where his I can't tell that he's blurry. The Atari artist program lets Dave use an electronic stylus or even his finger to create a work of art. Want to see something spectacular? Yeah. I just push one button. Pick an effect, push again, and blast off. Terrific. One small step for Atari and a giant leap for Dave's imagination. Whoa. You know what the true magic of that commercial was? How easy it was to see what I was looking at. Boy, I love cassette tapes. Looking for video games at a higher level? At only 16 minutes, you'll find Nintendo and Sega. No. Then let's go where no one's ever been before. Throwing shots Jaguar. again. Throwing Jaguar. shots at Mario World. <laughs> Unwise. System with 64 bits of mega power. Where did you learn to fly? Bits of awesome moves, mind-blowing graphics. That was it. Chat, that's the end of the commercial. I think the tape broke. Whoever transferred this from uh, tape to digital, their fucking VCR blew up mid-transfer. Mind-blowing graphics. That was like fuck price. Say what you will about Atari, but the Atari aesthetic is unmatched. Sure. You're right. Hey, listen. Atari was in Blade Runner. The logo and everything. In the Blade Runner future, Atari is still going strong. Atari. Take a shot. I like Lynx. The screen is bigger. I like Lynx. More can play at the same time. Lynx has 16 pies. I mean beats. I like Game Boy. Three out of four characters prefer Lynx. Buy Lynx now. Get NFL game free. Like, so many commercials at this time. Yeah, they were just throwing shots all over the place.
I mean, listen, I, I know I'm shitting on Atari, but I did play that history collection. I stream, uh, no, I recorded it, and it was good. It was good seeing their, um, the history. I'm playing some of those games for like five minutes. Three to seven. Atari and Children's Computer Workshop, founded by the people who brought you Sesame Street, developed these new games for Atari's most affordable video game system, the 2600. They turned the 2600 into a center for learning important preschool skills. <laughs> but don't tell your kids that. Just tell them about... Cookie Monster! <laughs> the Atari Sesame Street Library. A revolution wow. in child's play. Smart. Smart baby gaming. And they're just like, don't tell them. Don't tell them. And then, like, the kid turns three and is like, this game sucks! Wanna play this game? This game is better. Hit me, Atari. Yeah, Blackjack, motherfucker. I'm gonna start Sorry, gambling. I want to gamble and smoke. Me, Atari? Is that Atari Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? I think that's him. 1,500 game variations you play on your own TV set. Yeah, that's him. Don't just watch television tonight. Play Dude was it. awesome in Airplane. Yeah. We down deep inside of the green man. There's a little boy and Atari fan. <laughs> and without any doubt. <laughs> oh god look at that oh god that's that's a good gamer face Atari game and he'll turn into a little boy but don't worry he'll be grown up enough to share it that's just like a that sounds like a department store commercial from that time period you ever notice that like 70s and 80s jingles they have like a very specific sound to them i like it that's a, that's an aesthetic all to its all to itself um but yeah that was like some amazing gamer acting so you created atlantis for a magic i was at atlantis the skies above the underwater city filled with gorgon attack vessels Three sentry posts fought desperately, but they were no match for the Gorgon death rays. But you're here. I thought the Gorgons destroyed everybody at Atlantis. Uh, uh. We did! Atlantis by a magic is Oh, that's awesome. And in television systems. Oh, I would have loved that commercial as a kid. That's so good. <laughs> what a twist. Yeah, that's a good one. And, uh... I like the costume. That again, talk about Star Trek makeup. Mmm, candy. And I'm not gaining weight. I'm losing weight. Oh, I know this one. With the aid of AIDS, the AIDS diet plan really works. No, AIDS candy contains Don't do it. a safe and effective appetite suppressant when used as directed. Helps curb your appetite so you can lose weight. And AIDS candy has no stimulant that can make you nervous. The plan. You know what makes me nervous? Before each meal. <laughs> Mmm, delicious chocolate flavor. And I love being a size 10 again. Lose weight deliciously with the aid That's of so, AIDS. First of all, without the um, obvious name issue, eating chocolate as an appetite suppressant, there's some questions. But two, was that company still going, you know, when the other thing happened? And did they have to just change their name or shut down? I don't know how that worked out for them. The action was blazing in Zelda. The adventure was a blast with Link. Now experience yeah. Guardians. What? Experience Battle of Olympus. Battle of Olympus is the, the fuck most is this one? adventure of all time. Select your weapons and enter ancient Greece with vicious serpents. Why, that just looks like Zelda 2, Link. Flying Pegasus, two-headed dogs, poisonous snakes, and the shadow of absolute evil. Battle of Olympus. Guardian Legend. Which is the most action-packed adventure? You decide. I is it any good? No, genuinely. Actually, a good Zelda 2, like, I think you would enjoy it. Huh. We have Zelda at home. What's it? Is that on an NES? Like, do they have to get permission from Nintendo to say that it's like Zelda? It's a solid game. It's decent. 
Vinny, do you like Zelda 2? I still can't tell. I play Zelda 2 every year on stream. I love Zelda 2. <laughs> Genuinely. Guardian Legend is good. Huh. Oh, there you go. I learned some new things today. A new game is here for your Super NES Super Scope. So prepare yourself because this one fights back. Introducing Battle Clash. Ten levels where monster machines get totally in your face. Battle Clash, it's more than a game, it's a breakthrough. Have you been inside? Whoa! Only on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Now you're playing with superpower. Chat, I don't know how true this is, but a chat member said this. Um, even though Grandma has died. In a September 1985 interview, the president of the company that manufactured it stated that, in fact, sales had increased as a result of this connection. Early in 1986, another executive of the manufacturer was quoted, The product has been around for 45 years. Let the disease change its name. Fuck. Fuck. That's ballsy. Where are they now? I, I, you know, who's going around popping AIDS so that they can suppress their appetite? I, I'm sorry. Just, it doesn't sound like there's any goddamn way that that company survived. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. That sounds like the PlayStation noise. <laughs> Everyone's counting on me. If I can't stop them, who will? Will, will, will? Introducing Battlezone. The arcade hit that's now an exciting new home game from Whoa, Atari. Oh, tanks? The joystick puts you in control of your own tank. The radar screen helps you seek out the enemy. This the is how we used so to live, ah! chat. Th that was like the height of fashionable. Game. Battle zone, only from Atari. Wow. That looks so realistic. Yay! Oh, this is a bit of a tonal shift. It sounds like Conan O'Brien's voice! Aw, oh, jeez! That's awesome! Racing's not about winning, it's about making friends! Blur. Shut it, Pinky! Blur. Blur. Race like a big boy. Rated everyone 10 and up. Well, that's some pr pretty crazy shit you got in that ad there. Shut it, Pinky! He's dead. I can't believe he died. Fake Bubble Bobble. No baby games ever, only fast car for adult. Please. This token can unlock a fantasy you'll never forget. With this token, you can live a dream and be what you want to be. In what do you do with it? At Connecticut Golfland. Oh. With the drop of this token, you can travel just the wonderful. Universe, race the Grand Prix, or play for the New York Yankees. What? With I can play for the Yankees? Token, you can travel the How much roids? Universe. Look at that. That's the face of someone who's living a fantasy right now in an arcade cabinet. Race the Grand Prix or play for the New York Yankees. You can live out your fantasies in the game room at Connecticut Golfland. A cup of tokens can provide you with hours of fun and excitement. Chat, live out your it looks you like... Live out look at this. It just looks like some... some place. Like, this doesn't look like an arcade. It's too bright. It looks like a pizza place. Like you go in here and you sit down and eat a piece of pizza. Watch your fantasies in the game room at Connecticut Golfland. A cup of tokens can provide you with hours of fun and excitement. Live out your fantasies. Every place is some place. Golfland, that sounds like a David Byrne me. lyric from uh, like Talking Heads. Every place is just some place. The less we say about it, the better. Whoa, flaming skull. I love when they make props. Oh, fuck, they blew it up. That's sick. It's the flight of your life. Captain Skyhawk for your Nintendo. Captain Skyhawk is the only air combat game with a spy satellite view of the action. More oh. weapons, more well, missions lame. over, more terrain than any other flying ace. Do you have what it takes to airdrop supplies, rescue scientists, destroy aliens, and save Earth from certain... Oh, aliens. It takes the hottest fighter pilot This is just ever. like now, yesterday. Air combat soars to incredible new heights with Captain Skyhawk for your Nintendo. I mean, it doesn't look bad. 
It actually looks okay for an NES game. And today, yeah, we're shooting down UFOs left and right. It's cool. Do you think they like tried to make contact first and then they didn't hear anything and they were just like, all right, shoot. Probably just some shitty balloon again. It's a pretty intense Atari noise as you got there. Atari. <laughs> Damn dog. There are those who worry that video game playing can become obsessive. At Commodore, while we think that's a little extreme, increasing your game scores may not always increase your IQ. So Commodore's games come in a different package, a full-fledged computer, the VIC-20, that allows your mind to expand into the thousands of things a computer can do, in addition to playing games. Oh, like you can do your taxes. I guess you need this. Chat, I take back what I said before. That is now the best video game playing face I've ever seen. Who worry that video here, let me get... That's a good one right here. That's a good one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> right there. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's... We're in the Muppet Test Kitchen. Swedish Chef. The Swedish Chef is making his delicious star-shaped cereal, New Crunchy Stars, with cinnamon toast taste. Authentic Joel cuisine. I'm sorry, but his real hands always freak me out. Crunchy Stars, great taste from Post and the Swedish Chef. Here, you know what? We should show another authentic Swedish item. Just to follow that up. Crazy put! It's some time in the future. Oh, this commercial. This is fucking legendary. Crossfire. It played for like years. Got up in there! Crossfire! Crossfire! Rubber band man! Get ready for it. You'll get caught up in it. I wonder who they got to do the vocals for that. Like some like penis metal man, right? From the 80s they probably hired that wasn't doing anything because Nirvana killed his career or something. That's what he said. Meanwhile, like, you know what killed his career? Like the booze. But but if he was still able to do like crossfire, crossfire. shit, dude's going mental. Which car would you rather be in, this one or this one? Days of Thunder from Mindscape uh, or your NES. The first one. <laughs> Like, what kind of question is that? Are you kidding me? What's the best way to deal with obstacles? Rat poison? Eliminate them. Oh. That's why Dell deals direct with every customer. So nothing comes between you and exactly what you want. Dell computers with Intel Pentium 2 processors. Got I think I had that. Success? Be direct. Dell. Or I had a version of that as my first computer. So yeah, that, that was like probably comparable to my very first computer that I had. I had a Pentium 2. And I had a rat with glasses. The correct chat. That's, that's, that's right. Which of you, a magic experts, has created the toughest game for Atari's video? More awesome costumes. Demon attack! Uh! I want to see more of the costumes. It's like the cantina. You're not good enough for demon attack! You win this for the moon! I'm winning! 
Good work, Voltar. Demon attack really is tough. The magic demon attack. <laughs> what the did they version. do with that costume? They burn it after they were done here because I kind of like. What I wonder. I want it. That dude on the left is the best. But like they had to just like left it in a warehouse somewhere or just burned it, threw it in the fucking ocean or something, you know. Well, well, a little demon in diamond. Okay, let's play demons to diamond. Huh? Demons to diamond. Another an demon Atari game. Video game cartridge you have to buy separately to play on the Atari video Demons to diamonds. System. Your parents hook it up to the TV. Those are supposed to be the demons that turn to diamonds when you hit them with your laser. I've got what? all the diamonds. Now you can put these back. This is the Atari video computer system. Demons to Diamonds and other video game cartridges are each sold separately. Boy, I love the era of video games where you have to tell someone, this is supposed to be this thing. This is supposed to be a person, and this is supposed to be an apple. Huh, just looks like a block to me. Well, that's what it's supposed to be. Is that what that was? Because I don't know what I was looking at there, but... um. Someone said imagination. No, fair enough. I, I did the same thing with the NES to a degree, but there's a point in time where if imagination is free and then having to spend hundreds of dollars or your parents hundreds of dollars for imagination, you know, for that, like, I don't know. <laughs> Here it comes. Domino's $25 million Nintendo Instant Win Game Card with a chance yeah. to win thousands of free Nintendo prizes. I'm, I'm sure someone won that 25 mil. Classic. And try Domino's new twisty brand, free with our unlimited topping medium, just $9.99. Hey, Pops. Is it true the CEO won that money? <laughs> sure is. The news about Earthworm Jim. We're number one. We're number one. Earthworm Jim's better than Wait, the is it? Dan Castellaneta? Spineless one rules. Was that supposed to be an insult? I really don't have a spine, you know. And he looks pretty sharp doing it. This suit really chafes my wings. What? And you'll agree there's just one word for it. Uh, Ruby! Earthworm Jim! The galaxy's mightiest invertebrate. Catch him today huh. only on Kids WB. Are we mighty? Or are we mighty? Okay, so confirmed that is Homer Simpson's voice actor, Dan Castellaneta. Uh, I chat. I have no memory of this show, and I liked Earthworm Jim well enough as a kid, but I didn't know the show existed. But um, I like when Dan Castellaneta gets loud. He's just Homer. Have you heard the news about Earthworm Jim? We're number one. We're number one. Earth like that's just you can't mistake that. For centuries, men have been drawn to boxing for its science, strategy, and grace. Oh. Of course, there's also something to be said for the thrill of rearranging some poor chump's face. Homefield Boxing from Sega. Well, at least there's some honesty in there. Um, but what the fuck was the music? That sounded like the uh, Fleas character in Wild Thornberries. What the fuck was that? Grace. Of course, there's also something to be said for the thrill of rearranging some poor chump's face. Homefield boxing from Sega. Yeah, it just sounds like Donnie from the Wild Thorn. It's... Okay. We're back with another episode of Fixin' to Learn Ya. Brought to you by Pamway. Now with a third more Pamboo. Hey, fam. Once again, our returning champion, the genius hillbillies, Cletus and Pooh. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> which one's Poot again? Gentlemen, which car dealer in Central Florida offers the easiest financing? Is that your final answer? I uh, want to be a millionaire. You're right, Family Automat. If you have no credit anywhere, you have credit at Family Automat. Smart. Oh, they they went they did them dirty with the teeth. Yum yum. I just. I... Great news. We still have item 111A. That's the what? autographed picture of the family man and membership to the family man fan club. Oh, it's free. F-R-E-E -E, free. You know what? I feel bad Family Guy probably killed this the career of these lads. Oh, free. 
free because the family Ow. man loves you. Call now! Got the perfect idea for a video game? Then enter the Fox Kids Create a Sega Video Game Sweepstakes! We're gonna send the grand prize winner to San Francisco to hang at Sega headquarters and help crank out a brand um, new Sega video game! Okay, he's an Italian plumber. Um, he wears red overalls, um, and he jumps on, on turtles and goes into pipes. So chat, where's the result of this contest? D what what classic game was the result of this? And because you're a Sega maniac, we'll blue overalls. Like Sorry, I'm stomping and Koopas. And a pile of 30 Sega games. 250 others each win a Sega Genesis with Vector Man game. And dinner for two at McDonald's so you can chow down while you play. To win or get a postcard by March 12th too. Fox Kids create a video game. P.O. Box 1129 Los Angeles 90078. Chat, you know what the result was? Metal Gear Solid. It's true. I have proof. Colonel, I have found the diaper chief. It looks like he's blasted one mega brick out the back and has snapped one off in the front. It's only- This is our bus. This is our bus driver. This is fun. Fruit corners for roll-ups. We love a fruit roll-up. Hell yeah. This is my kind of co- I love the- I love them. <laughs> Hell yeah, acting monkeys. <laughs> What's the ethical? Issues here. I don't know. You just pay them in bananas. I don't know. Introducing the great big taste of new watermelon fruit roll ups. Yeah, I probably had some fun. Give them a couple bananas, you know. Um, hopefully, they didn't actually eat fruit roll ups. No, 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 no. You don't want to eat. Oh, no, you don't want to eat a fruit roll up, monkey. We love microplastics. Deep down in our gut. Hello, David. How did you get in here? That's not important now. Listen carefully. You have to watch Midnight Spank, G4's new <laughs> block of late night shows. Why? Because I can make everyone you've ever loved disappear, David. <laughs> disappear forever. Yeah. Oh. Introducing Midnight Spank, weeknights only on G4. Yes, that is the artistic height of G4 as we know it, chat. Just remember that. A program called Midnight Spank. There's only one way to make the coolest games even cooler. Game G. I still don't know what was on Midnight Spank. It, it could have been anything. Separately for most video game systems. Free Mortal Kombat Game Genie codes at participating retailers. Supplies are limited to year end. I mean, that was just original corruptions in a way. But, you know, I had one. How can you get all the thrills of Gauntlet 2 to your very own home? <laughs> Just pick up the new NES Dead. version. Gauntlet 2, with all the graphics, sound, and features of the arcade original. From wow, you couldn't make a game seem less appealing than that, but thanks. Days of Thunder. Finally, breakfast without that pesky. I remember this. Oh, God. Granny. Memory unlocked. My golden crisp this time. Could be tough, but I can never get enough. Oh, no, you don't. A honey sweet crunch of Golden Crisp is the one thing I just can't resist. It's Granny got blasted into the TV. Sega has joined forces she with She got Golden blasted, Crisp. chat. Cool. Now you can find a rebate offer good for $5 back on any of these Sega Game Gear games. On Golden Crisp or these other post cereals. Chat, that commercial must have played like a hundred times. Because I remembered, like, the fucking various lines and the way they said them. It was just there, like, in my brain. Finally, breakfast without that pesky. Sugar bear? Don't be alarmed, Granny. That's crazy. That's crazy. That, that was just floating around in my brain. Somewhere. Probably in the lower medulla. 
Someone said, I feel like it's a little hypocritical to complain when a game doesn't show gameplay and then complain when they do. My chat member in Christ, this is a comedy show. Hey, all you Goya Bean people out there. Uh, that's allegedly. Those great Goya Beans you love. That's them. I hate to tell you this. They're good for you. Good for us. They're high potassium. Like, like bananas. bananas. They're high fiber. Like, like bran. bran. They're high protein. See, there's beans, oh, like the beans. funniest high fruit. High protein, but no cholesterol. None. Good, good for, for Goya. Goya. Now, if everybody had a can of Goya Beans in the house, they could all start that healthy eating right now. Goya. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. I didn't realize that Goya was an angel. Um, yeah, no, if it shows gameplay and it looks lame and they don't have, like, you know, good music behind it and, like, they're just showing boring sections of the game, it's possibly also because of the time period of the game that it just looked really boring. So, you know, I'd, I'd like to apologize that my commentary isn't up to your standards. Uh, I'm wor I'll work on it harder. It's the greatest great <laughs> game. Make em, take em to the back study. Oh, oh here's another core memory unlocked. Pizza Oh wait, no, that's just the pizza pasta song. But I remember these lads getting squished. Poor bastards. They had to get squished every day on TV. And then later on, the song got turned into a cock song. <laughs> yeah, it's just... It's funny how life works out. Now you can enter the Handy Snacks Sega Genesis Sweepstakes. Handy Snacks, Handy Snacks. You could win this game looks like shit. Or even a Sega Genesis video system with color TV and 30 game cartridges. Look for game cards in specially marked boxes or a P.O. Box 4028, Blair, Nebraska 68009. Nebraska. Oh, I've heard of it. Will win, but enter today. The game ends soon. Yeah, I heard of Nebraska once or twice. Um, that looked like gameplay from Nick Arcade. Do you remember that show on Nickelodeon where they would like be in the game and the games looked like poop? Candy Snacks Sega Genesis Sweepstakes. This kind of reminds me of that a little bit. You could win this cool t-shirt. High octane hog chow. It's got an edge Chat. on other feeds. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what it is, but just the hair on this pig's High ass. High octane hog chow. Like. You know, like if there's like a little mustache down there. I, Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one that saw it. Because I was starting to feel fucking crazy for a second there. Okay. First off, it's richer, concentrated with plenty of balanced essential nutrients. I always knew Hitler was a pig's asshole. Levels of energy finishes hogs an average seven days quicker than other rations. Produces 100 pounds more pork with every ton. Wow. the high octane performance edge. Oh, I need. I need this. Chad, how do I get how do I get the hog chow? Oh man. They actually like got a hog on camera, like live on camera hog. <laughs> Who better than baseball fans to compare baseball games? First, Atari home run baseball. Where's the diamond? Hey, there's only four right players. Yeah, now in television, Major League Baseball. <laughs> By a mile. By a mile. Television They're just gathered around a tiny TV. To the real thing. Like a 10 inch TV. <laughs> they can't even see what's happening. But Teleelectronics would like to. It's been television. How come all you ever talk about are sports games? Is this the Sorry? kid from ET? television now has games like the arcade. I know. Walk and chase. Absolutely. Tron Deadly Dead. Wait, it really is? Excellent. Right. Night Stalker. Awesome robot. No, I don't think that. Oh, well, glad you like him. Sorry. I can't hang around here. I'm going home to play my Intellivision. Who was that kid? I think it was. Yeah, that only works if it's the E.T. kid. <laughs> it really only works if it's Elliot. Wow. 
Who's going to tell them? Who's going to tell the kid that his video game namesake, not namesake, but you know what I mean? Who's going to tell him? What? Kleenex tissue. This. <laughs> okay, Chad. I think we're all gonna die in seven days after seeing that one. And I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. Same kind of energy for me, at least. Vinny, this caused a moral panic in Japan. You know what? You can just say that with no evidence, and I'll just believe you. Do you not know this commercial? No, that's the first time I've seen it. Huh. Yeah, that's a weird one. Well, let's use that as a jumping off point. We're going to go into the Mad Clown 55 Cursed Commercial Collection. Chat, I tried to remove the ones I've shown already, but if you see a repeat, let me know. So this is where we got um, this one. So obviously this is a repeat. What's inside Ziggy and Zahn's Christmas world? Ziggy and Zahn? It's like clown Ziggy synthesizer. Christmas just wouldn't be Christmas without Ziggy and Zahn's Christmas World. Airport Plaza, Union and Genesee. Where's that? I know there's a union in New Jersey. Huh. Yeah, that was a weird commercial. My right ear loved it. <laughs> what do you say we get out of here? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, that was a good time. Yeah, it was. Hey, are you sure you're all right to drive? Yeah, I gotta get my car home anyway. Uh-oh. Step out of the car, please. Is there I gonna be good I acting? Drove. I should have called designated drivers of Buffalo. Yeah, there's good acting here. Hey, are you sure you're all right to drive home? Actually, I called designated drivers of Buffalo. They're going to drive me and my car home. Oh, well, there they are now. Oh. Hey, Kevin, I'm Jim. I'm going to be your driver tonight. Is, is this the typical yes. Buffalo accent? Save your job. Save your reputation. But most of all, save your life. Designated drivers of Buffalo. Because those the drivers sounded exactly like the main character of the commercial. Uber before Uber. Pooper. Problemado ka, kaya susubo ka. Oh shit, is this another watch this commercial and you die? Illegal na droga. Droga? No, 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 don't do the droga. Ang mga ito ay nakasisira ng Motor skills. Paranoia? I know some of those words. Wala sa umpisa o sa gitna, kundi na sa huli ang pagsisisi. Sa droga, talo ka. Oh, shit. Achieve ang pagbabago. Whatever you say. Point taken. Point taken. You heard the good news. Good, good news. news? Yeah, for every dollar you spend using your Hawaiian Miles credit card with the cab, you get three <laughs> Hawaiian Miles. Three? We? Me? Yeah, you, Is that all you, the same and person? you, everybody <laughs> with the Hawaiian Miles credit card. I have one. Me too. Me three. And you know who to call for two 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 two. Oh my God. So ladies, what's your next stop? Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. They had to have loved that they got that number. Truly, this is a renaissance man. The fact that he could do that commercial, run a business, and get that phone number, uh, unbelievable. Good work. 
I'm here with the Cricket Angels to let you know about the hottest deal in town. Cricket, what? baby. Unlimited calling, long distance. Wait, was that a Jersey Shore? Messaging. Everything's unlimited, baby. No credit check, no contract. Everyone's approved. It's 16 locations with the biggest in New York. Bigger is better, baby. Wait, Batavia, okay, that's... What kind of phone you have? Take it, break it, and come visit one of our five hot locations. Grand Street. Depew. Cricket on Bailey, baby. Cricket on Bailey, baby. Cricket on Bailey. That was a Jersey Shore. Cricket downtown Batavia, baby. Go to MySpace backslash Cricket. Because no one doesn't like me, baby. I don't know. I kind of don't like you. I don't know. There you go. There you go. Um, why, why do I know the name of this place? What is? Where is Batavia? I thought that was a Pennsylvania place. City of Batavia. It's in New York. It is Buffalo again. Like not far from Buffalo, between Rochester and Buffalo. And yet they got, like, this dude? I thought that dude was in Staten Island, where I live. I thought he was in, like, Wildwood and Seaside Heights. The fuck is he doing up there? That's almost Canada. Drug Free Charlie is a special clown on a mission. He travels the country with the circus, teaching children to be drug free through song. Charlie's songs are easy to remember and fun to sing. Look at the clown. Your children will love to learn from these happy tunes. Get your drug free sing along CD today. Send check or money order for $12 plus $2 shipping and handling to Drug Enterprises, PO Box 1541, Baltimore, Maryland 21203. Or Chat, call remember. 440 or order online. You have a choice between drugs or that clown. It's one or the other. What do you choose? Hey, D, how those corned beef egg rolls taste? Delicious. Oh. Asian corned beef, they make a big sandwich. And I know beef. I love these egg rolls. Look how big it is. Oh, my God. Mm. Asian corned beef got the best corned beef in town. Asian corned beef. Delicious. So come on down to Asian corned beef and tell them Delicious sent you. I'll be Delicious for you. is your name. That's a great name. I love it. It's very beautiful. Hey, here's a here's a chat. I don't think I can unpack that commercial, so I'm not going to. But there's a lot to unpack there. So let's continue. Roxanne, when all is said and done, what is a kiss? It's simply an oath made more certain. The heart's confirmation of a pact. <laughs> Asian corned beef. A kiss <laughs> yeah. allows for one to live. Authentic Asian corned beef. A kiss allows for one to live. Through the beating of another one's heart and to taste the very soul of another one's lips. Oh, damn. Oh, Cyrano. The last Bergerac. model was so much better. The last model was so much better. I have a serious viral infection and I can't get it back up. Huh. You know what? I actually, that was a clever, com to me, that was kind of clever. <laughs> it's a, still kind of like low budget, but a good local ad for sure. Mama, what'll happen to me when I go to the golden pasture in the sky? Well, your shoulders and your ribs will go to the nice big supermarket. Mm. And your tongue Wait. and your legs to that lovely local organic butcher. Um. But mom, what about my testicles? Free tomorrow with the guardian. No fucking way. <laughs> fucking Christ on the cross. Christ. Christ on the cross. <sighs> yeah. I know, I know we probably, many of us probably had the same thought in our minds as we were watching that, which is what kind of commercial is this? Is this an anti-meat commercial? Is this a pro-meat commercial? Nope, something completely fucking different. Whatever the fuck it even was, I need to see it again. Lovely Hang on. local organic butcher. But mom, what about my testicles? <laughs> Football's back. Get the 84 page guide to the season. Free tomorrow with the Guardian. <laughs> what does that have to do with football? 
Jesus fucking Christ. Someone in chat just said, did M. Night fucking Shyamalan make this commercial? <laughs> like, what in fucking hell? Jesus. Meat pies are a UK staple, but it didn't have to be in relation to testicles. And then football. Uh, to be or not to be? That is the question. I've seen That's this. It. To be a street fashion. Be there for Levi's jeans. Street yep. Fashions has the best prices, the best quality, and the best selection of Levi's jeans anywhere. Be who you want to be in Levi's jeans from Street Fashions. Yep. To be or not to be? Who do you want to be? Real American man, Tommy Wiseau. Made in USA. What a story. Yeah, this is younger Tommy before the room. I believe this is, if, if my Tommy history is correct, this is how he made his money partially. Uh, there's other things allegedly, but um, he made his money selling blue jeans, American blue jeans. And uh, and he used some of his money to make his movie. He also sold birds. Apparently a Wiseau is a bird or something. I forgot exactly what it was, but he sold like, not real birds, but like you like toy birds. And it like he sold them in like L.A., I think. I don't know. I, there's so much lore with Tommy and so, so much of it's hard to really pin down, but. This is where I play. Oiso. Uh, it's it, O I S E A U is French for bird. Okay, gotcha. Pay. This is not what it pays. This is where I pay. This is not what it pays. This is where I pay. This is where I pay. This is not what it pays. Put it in there. This is not what it pays. This is where I pay. Put it out there. This is where I pay. Yes. Yes. This is where I pay. I like it. This is where I pay. I love it. More. This is where I pay. More. This is where I pay. More. This is where I pay. No, that's not what it pays. Hello. Don't fade through the nose. Comcast Triple Play. It's Comcast. -y. Of course it's fucking Comcast. It's a terrible commercial for a terrible company. And the irony of Comcast trying to make it like their prices are fair in some way. They fuck Comcast so hard. Hi folks, I'm Frankie Flight. I want you to check out Hoot Wireless next to Subway. Equipment Highway, right here in Moat. To tell your family, friends, and neighbors to come in and check us out. <laughs> check out all our plans. That and much more. Hoot Wireless. Hoot Hi, Wireless. Lady Jock. Come in and check out Julio. He'll hook you up right here. Hoot Wireless. Hoot Wireless. Hoot Wireless. Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> this is Julio with Hoot Wireless. Uh, come and check us out. We got anything you need as far as wireless goes. Hoot Wireless. Don't forget to check out Hoot Wireless. Next to Subway, Equipment Highway, right here. There's Hoot Wireless. <laughs> I love it. You, this, that's, that's ingenious. You just just randomly insert the name of the company into the commercial at random intervals. That's so good. Hi, folks. I'm Frankie from Equipment Highway right here in Moat. To tell your family, friends, and neighbors to come in and check us out. Check out all our plans. That and much more. Hoot Wireless. Hoot Hi, Wireless. I, I need Hoot Wireless. I need it clean so I can put on my soundboard. Uh, come in and check out Julio. He'll hook you up right here. Hoot Wireless. Hoot Wireless. Hoot Wireless. I really do. I need it. <laughs> I, I might have shown this one, chat, but this is amazing. Hi, you can choose your space with a Serda. Don't cling on to that old mattress. Dual Comfort Serda mattresses let you have softer firm on the same mattress. Boldly dream like you never dreamed before. This is Be classic. on board to the side that's right for you. And the dogs set your savings for stunning. Captain, you won't be undersold? They get soft. Real, real Spock ears. A logical choice. Live long and sleep. Oh, that's a different Star Trek phrase than I remember. But uh, what season is that? Season four of the original series, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Someone said Picard season three. Why season three? It's season one and two. Buy silver. We buy silver. We buy gold. We buy your jewelry. When it's old. The kiosk is open Sunday from noon till three. Paying serious cash for your old gold, wow. coins, jewelry, whatever has value. Come to the kiosk Sunday, noon till three, for instant cash now. Got some coins, make the day. your watches, we pay cash. See you Sunday. Yeah. Holy fuck. East Union Road. Now that seems like New Jersey to me, but I could be wrong once again. Everywhere is New Jersey. Just everywhere is Hoot Wireless. <laughs> just like you go to a different commercial and it's just Hoot, uh, it's more Buffalo. 
So many fucking buffalo come out. I guess the person who made this maybe lives in... Buffalo, maybe? Wireless. Who wireless? Thank you. Who wireless? A bőre őre. Ezt használja nyakra. Hoot Wireless just crashed my browser. I'm not even kidding, by the way. Oh, that's a pretty fucking weird one there. Um, good stare. Scott's Winter Guard, take two. And action. Scott's Super Turf Builder with Winter Guard is. The Cuts. Uh, right. Who's wild? Okay. I got a bug. Alright. Need, need some water? No. I'll be okay. Alright. We'll take five. Bigfoot! They found him in a commercial. It's Buffalo again. Okay, not what I expected. Bigger on the inside, huh? But it's nice. <laughs> well, we do shop at value quite a bit. Oh, really? Bigfoot! <laughs> <laughs> Shut Okay. Well, I love what you've done with the paint. Well, we just repaint it. You know, dust boy paint from value. Hey, honey, look at what I found. It's the value guy. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, you're picking out that dust boy paint. We picked up some of those Sterilite bins. Is that a rat? Yeah, food storage. Huh? Well, why is the Good camera box, angle so box. goddamn low? Uh -huh, I'm doing the little thing. Oh, yeah. Hey, thanks for showing me around. Appreciate it. I, uh, I gotta get back to my shoot. Thanks for shopping at value. Borderline experimental. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's the Bigfoot Boy. pose. Who uh -huh. wireless? Who wireless? Who All right. I feel like that commercial could have been cut in half and it still would have like accomplished the same thing, but it was still pretty good. Like surprisingly high quality. In a series of one car accidents recently involving rollovers and serious injuries to passengers. I don't know if it's video games or what, but it's so unfair huh? to, after something like this to blame people in the backseat or say they deserved it. Video games. I don't like consoling these parents about what's happened, but I'll do it until it stops. Will you please stop? I'm Scott Hoy. Did we see this one already? I feel like we saw that one. But uh, yeah, that's that's weird. Is it mice? Nope. Rats? Nope. Hogs? That's right, miss. Hogs. Energy hogs. If you're wasting energy, you'll find one in your home. Got energy hogs in your house? Where did they find this now actor? Holy shit. Do something about them. Log on to energyhog.org. Hey, let me go. In your dreams, Porky. Because nobody likes an energy hog. You know, the, the site is still up. 
and it's just tips and tricks for saving energy. It's a very, very shitty looking website. I'll leave it to you, the viewer, to go to it, but it looks like really old. Oh, wow. Ah, I can see into your mind. So you're interested in a Ford Fusion Titanium? Wait, what? You like its 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine, don't you? I can read you like an open book. No you like shit. You secure called keyless entry and optional power moonroof, I see. Is this official? Still don't believe me. Your ears marvel at the audio system from Sony with 12 speakers. Perfect for listening to long codec calls. Stop hesitating, Snake. It's the perfect car for you. How the fuck? Oh, well, it's Ford. But when? What year? I mean, obviously Ford can afford the commercial. But I wonder what year that was, because a uh, 2014 ish. It's funny to me because at that's at that point almost a 20 year old video game. But I guess it's just nostalgia commercial. It's it's supposed to be a nostalgia commercial. It was around when Metal Gear Solid Five came out. Okay, was that the same actor as Psycho Mantis? Because it sounded a lot like him, but maybe like an older ver. You know. Some chat is saying yes, and some is saying no. So I, we obviously we will never know, and there's no way to find out. The only thing we can do is. Who wireless? Who wireless? That's a, that's all we can do. Hi, folks. Frankie Flight. Check oh, it's this guy again. It's who? Why? <laughs> Oh, sorry, the music. I thought that was part of the commercial. Chat, that was what played after Hoot Wireless. That was me by accident. I didn't stop the Hoot Wireless video. It auto play. I was like, why the fuck is this music so epic and so loud? I'll start again from the beginning, but that was an accident. Sorry. Hi, folks. Frankie Flight. Check out the all new Pelham Cafe, now open soul right here food, in Pelham. Soul food, Come soul in and check food. out our new buffet. Check out our new hours, Monday through Thursday from 6 a.m. until 8 p.m. Fridays and Saturdays from 6 a.m. until 11 p.m. Check out our breakfast and lunch, mac and cheese, fried chicken. Oh, Cup hell yeah. Cornbread, oxtail, iced tea, that and much more. Lady John. You can get your favorite meal right here soul at Pelham food, Cafe. Soul Come food, and get soul you food, soul food. Don't forget, the all-new Pelham Cafe is now open right here in Pelham. <laughs> this guy's a marketing genius. He knows you just got to drill the shit into people's heads. Just say the words over and over and over again, many times in a row at a random time. And it's like, he asks, <laughs> he asks her to say something, and then he just plays a clip over her. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> So, I want soul food now. Soul food, soul food, soul food. Americans are driving over 50 billion less miles since gas went up. Accidents over. are way down. Incredibly, the insurance industry actually wants to raise rates. Government controlled MAFE, who ensures the worst drivers that private industry won't take, wants to lower their rate, and the insurance industry is trying to block it. Insurance companies. You can urinate on some of the people some of the time, huh? but you can't urinate on all the people all the time. Barry Glazer, legal advocate for the injured, disabled, and urinated Wait. upon. Dude just took a quote from Bob Marley and used the word urinate in it. In it. Okay. Please replay the end of the last one. The okay. first snack with loads of fun shaped cheese Ugh. crackers, pretzels, and wholesome Chex pieces for kids to turn into anything. And their page not Ugh. New Chex mix for kids in cheddar, triple cheese, and pizza. It's hard to imagine a better snack. Americans are dry and urinated upon.
Americans are... Barry Glazer, legal advocate for the injured, disabled, and urinated upon. Did it sound like the narrator was laughing? Like, you can kind of almost hear the smile in the narration. Legal advocate for the injured, disabled, and urinated upon. Challenge pissing. Neighbors cockroaches in my bed every time I get home. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Baby Flo. <laughs> Wait, Woody Woodpecker? Ten years. There's a lot of weird. That's a Brazil commercial, by the way. Why did the voice at the end sound so robotic? What, what is wrong with that voice? That's so fucking weird. It's like it's sped up. They cut out syllables. Damn. Do you have unwanted or old gold that you're not using? There's never been a better time to trade in your old gold. Jewelry, coins, antiques, large gold bars. Antiques? Right. Just take your old gold now to any Mighty Taco location. Yeah, let you me just bring King Tut. Let me let me bring tacos. something I got from the Great Pyramid Choose hard to a little kiosk off the side of the road you. near the airport. Your old gold is worth its weight in tacos. At Mighty Taco, Mighty Taco. <laughs> it's a good, wait why the fucking the, why did why did it do that it turned it like went completely different do you have unwanted or old gold that you're not you it's that simple Choose hard shell or soft shell. You bring them gold you. and you get tacos? Your old gold is worth its weight in tacos at Mighty Taco. <laughs> mighty. <laughs> that's a completely, that's a completely different jingle for the rest of the, the fucking commercial. That's their actual jingle. Yeah, but it came in so, like, randomly. Oh, man. Mighty Taco. It's a parody of gold commercials. Oh, that's what that is? Okay. Soul food, soul food, soul food. <laughs> Wait, did he? Dong? They're just straight up saying dong. What's Donkey Kong's name in France? It's not Dong, is it? Le, le Dong. Oh, it's Le Dong. I see, thank you. Those are some scummy looking toys. I'd love one. Let's have pizza for dinner. No, Xiao Long Bao. No! Burger! Nah. -uh. Sushi! Stop food fights with Grab Unlimited. Get $400 oh. off every Grab Food and Grab Mart store as many times as you like across the whole country. Subscribe now for just one cent a month. No shit, one cent a month? Is there any soul food included in there? This is the Philippines, by the way. She's still screaming. All right, I'm going to be directing this commercial. All right, for fucking for vegetables or some shit. Can you scream for me like a baby? It would be so beautiful. If you can believe it. All right, chat.
much like Dante's Inferno, we will have to travel down into the lower depths. And now we enter the lowest depths of commercials. So we went classic video game commercials, which of course, there's nostalgia, you know, there's actually maybe sometimes some work put into them. Then we got local commercials, and some of those are pretty bad, but also some decent ones. Now we have probably the worst types of commercials on planet Earth. Welcome to Vinny's Inferno. This is mobile game ads. It's that part of the stream. Okay. Hello. Was that the di uh, that was the diarrhea fart? God damn it! Oh good. Well, it looks like Choo Choo Charles is already being shoehorned into these things, much like Huggy Wuggy has been. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. What is this an advertisement for, chat? Okay. What is it? What even is that? Is that for Hoot Wireless? I, I, all I know is Mike recommended a couple commercials, and I don't know which ones he did. That might have been one of them. Go back. Oh, yeah, there was a twerky. Yeah. Yeah, there was. Yep. Hey chat, you want to hear something cool? This is actually a real Raid Shadow Legends commercial. Real. Yep. High quality. No fucking way. Wait, why does it say I keep losing my fellows? Chat, that is now the best euphemism for sperm I've ever heard in my life. Fellows. <laughs> I keep losing my fellows. <laughs> so it said I actually played that game. There's no sperm in it. Well, why is there sperm in the commercial? The sperm-mercial. 100 years, I don't even understand. What do you mean 100 years in people? Like, you just, but you become one person. I don't fucking know, I, my brain doesn't understand. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, this is that genre of commercial where there's just a thing that happens and then unrelated zombies enter the picture. It's fairly common. Does this get DMCA'd? <laughs> we, we've seen this one? Okay, sorry, Chad. There may be duplicates. I apologize. All right. This is our culture. You may laugh, but this is our culture. And not, not even just American culture, this is collective internet culture. And because we keep giving, somehow we buy these games, I say we, I know people are gonna be like, Vinny, what are you talking about? I don't buy this. Don't lump me in with them. Brain test. We love it. Rush hour. I love Bring it. <laughs> this is our culture. You can't just fly away while I'm talking to you. Oh my god. Ha ha, jetpack go wee. No, you can't just go and conquer the world. Ha ha, war boat go B R R R R R. B R R R R R. Yep. Wojak commercial. Okay. Classic cartoon noise. Wait, wait, was that a chocobo? Boy! 
Wait, did they eat their chocobo? But why is magical music playing? Soul food. Soul food. These ads are literally idiocracy tier. Yes, they are! Chat, that's a real game? But why are they... Why did he kill his, cho his chocobo? That's not a chocobo. That's not- that doesn't seem nice. Now it's your turn. That's the ad. It just leaves you with... confusion. And then it's like, here, you have to buy the game now, so that way you can press the button. Don't you want to press the button and see the cartoon? The, co the cartoon, Bertsons? Gotta buy the game, press the button! No, don't leave me, please. <laughs> What's the matter? My heart. He wants to divorce. She is not pretty anymore. Nobody wants her. Oh, Jesus. Nobody wants her. Nobody wants her. Nobody wants. Nobody wants. This ad is very human. Okay, we're doing the dance. Just just like back in the day. Emperor and Beauties, yeah. I wonder if there are people that are going to play that game and think that's what actual history was like. Like that's maybe where even the dance came from. What are you doing? Uh. Oh. oh my god. Get me the manager now. No, have some shit and roach ice cream. That's not really ice cream, is it? I don't know why they're saying it. It's so fucked. It's fucking disgusting. Like fecal brownies. Is this in the wrong folder? This might actually be in the wrong folder. This actually seems like something. Chat saying we've seen this. This is just clickbait, by the way. This is not in this game at all. Misleading ad. Oh, oh, wonderful. They pretend this game is a creepypasta, but it's an idle game clickbait. Should have known better. This appears to be the sequel to that game. It's pretending to be creepypasta again. Oh. This one has a flashing lights warning, so just be aware of that. Give you a couple seconds, maybe, you know, look away. This is Evertale 3. So, I don't know if this is a, this does not look like the same game as the last two games, same series at all. Is it a demon girl or something? Okay. No, oh, I see the flashing lights. Yeah. It's, I, don't, I don't even know what the game is. It just looks like shit. <laughs> oh, one of these fucking things. And they always make the stupidest choices. Like, why would you do it? Like, just so you can make the player feel smarter by doing the stupidest things? It's just frustrating to watch this. Yeah, so that way you can get the game and do it right. It sounds like the beat to beat it. Not anymore, never mind. 
you can't even do it right. Um, because the game is nothing like this. The ad is misleading. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear that voice? Yes. Yes. <laughs> this should be illegal. Oh, oh, yeah. Yep. A company got sued over not having the puzzles in their game and actually had to implement the puzzles because of it. And, but there are also... There's so many stolen assets and... All these fucking trash games. I hope more of this stuff gets shit-canned. Also, is that the... The Raw logo? Like, the rolling papers? Like... Font and logo, kind of. Never mind. Oh, oh, oh. oh, here's my favorite genre of mobile game ad. Fart ad. Fucking wretched, disgusting fart advertisement. Thanks. It's time to have a brap over some f fart penis music. Thank you. Oh, that's not even the worst one. There's more fart vi uh, vial ads that you will see tonight. So stick around. Don't go anywhere. I thought you were on a business trip. I, I miss you. Download Figure Fantasy now. And you can get the limited skin Mike probably sent me this one, yeah. Bunny girl. What? Penis bunny girl? <laughs> Honey, let me explain. Hey, hey, what? Coupon, lucky 2022. Thank God for the subtitles. Two million coins and three thousand diamonds, as well as epic pieces of equipment. Seriously? Such a huge gift pack? Kissing, I... Enter the pack coupon treasure 2022 and get 10 advanced blind boxes for free. Uh, Chad, I, I hate this. Oh, I hate this ready. so much. What? How did you get so good? It's because I opened 30 blind boxes at the beginning thanks to the open beta gift pack. There are so many legendary characters that I just picked Kazooie Iwata, the one with the strongest battle power initially. Th this acting Frank is really them. quite on the same level as some of the other ones <laughs> tonight, too. The earliest dangers, boss five. I've got so many resources. Ah, I've got so many resources. I've got to unlock Banjo Kazooie. And so many characters. <laughs> Figure fantasy! Demo now! I barely even know what I'm looking at, but I'm sa I'm sorry to say this, chat, but I have more figure fantasy ads. Go, 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 go. No. Damn it. Is this Raid Shadow Impact Legends? Genshin? Yes. One more round. One more round. Let's have and have a meal. And we move, man. Your baggage has arrived. Come and clock your delivery. Uh, okay. The, I mean, these are non native English speakers. Mom, I'm busy. Please go. What? You are please figure for But never more than one take was allowed. Sorry, chat. Mom, you can use the ruler. Okay. Mom, can you get me a Zoloft after watching this? What's the matter with you, Fish? You haven't pumped iron all week. What are you doing every Overdubbed day? voice. There's no time, Coach. Figure Fantasy has been released today. Oh I just got tons of legendary figurines. That's true, Coach. Oh I my god. Not even close to trying to get the real voices. Figure not figure even close. You can help me get through all stages. Look at yourself. You don't lift. You don't even know how to play the game either. You don't even have to spend a penny on this game to get legendary figurines. I started the game with 30 free draws, and guess what? I bought the most powerful figurine ever, Olivian Shaw. So oh, I really? That's the most powerful one? Up. Wow, so shit, I gotta get this. all the instances. To get the strongest DPS hero, Xiao Bao, I was able to form the strongest lineup in no time. Amazing how the voice matches the face perfectly. I can't believe it. 
chat, I'm sorry to show you this next one. This one I watched some of. I actually had to stop and look away. This one actually kind of made it hurt. So we're going to try to watch it. I'm going to try not to take the headphones off and look away. I'll let you know. Yep, you knew. Chat member knew. Chat member knew. You knew it what it was. As a gamer, what makes you different from other gamers? Oh! I play figure fantasy and I've collected tons of characters already. And... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but these days, everyone plays figure <laughs> fantasy. And I have Yoko Kasumi. I have to look back at no. Max level and star. Yeah. I could literally kill any boss in any dungeon in a blink. So what? Oh. I just got Galton, Esther, and Megan yesterday when I cleared the dungeon. Oh, and, and Megan. Yes, <laughs> of all the, the names. Only one night of idling. And then Megan. <laughs> all get this isn't before. real. This is PSYOP. This is fake. Well, no offense. I actually got all these characters that you're talking about within a week. Must have spent millions of dollars topping up. It didn't cost me a penny. Yeah, sure Enter it didn't. the pack coupon right after logging in, and you'll be able to get tons of blind boxes and legendary yep. equipment for free. Yep, didn't With cost it, you a dime, you can sure. Form a powerful lineup right off the bat. Bosses will be crushed before you like ants. And you can get Sylvanas, the goddess of war. There is just one problem. Uh, the game looks like shit. So it's Joaquin Phoenix Joker with the worst. Like, this is what you would see after Dark Knight came out at, like, bars. Like, when people were just doing the impression. Like, I got a good Joker. You want to know how I got these scars? They just got one of those guys. They went into a bar and they got a gamer Joker and they just jo Joaquin Phoenix him up. That's hard to watch. Vinny, did you notice that the dog changed between shots? What dog? There's a dog. Hang on. It's dog. Oh, there's two dogs. There's two dogs. That's why. Wait, Multiple wait, dogs wait. confirmed. But these days. Nope. We're not looking at that again. Uh, chat, this is actually, I have a couple images. I don't know what this is, okay? I'm actually not sure what this is, but it's something I saw. There's um, a Twitter account for weird, like, ads and terrible mobile commercials. I think it's just weird. What is it? Just a shout out to that because that helps. I know people. Weird game ads. So thank you for that account. But I saw this and I don't know what this is. I don't know why there's a Shrek ear. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know what Doja Cat has to do with this aside from she's on, on a picture. So very, very, very strange. And um, here, one more that I think this one speaks for itself. I just love how Huggy Wuggy had to get lumped in on this. Fort Mon Fortnite Monopoly. Yep. Chat, I think this is why people get old. I'm not going to further elaborate my, my hypothesis. I'm just going to go on to the next ad. <laughs> like, who came up with this? Who was like, we need men to launch men. <laughs> we just need men to launch men like bows and arrows. It's just Bollywood. Fair enough. <laughs> Immediate death in the ad. Dragon is dead. Yeah. But it's okay because now the dragon has to go through heaven. Whoa. 
so all you're doing is just pressing buttons. Press- press lower number than current number and win. Oh, God, this is- this is all painful. I mean, there has been worse gender reveal parties. Not by much, but, you know, maybe a couple. Ha ha ha. OMG, why am I so bad at this? Ha ha ha. I fucking hate Finish this voice. This level is easy, right? Ha ha ha. I can't keep falling. Ha ha ha. Oh jeez. Ha ha ha. <sighs> that is one of those the like the just the tone of that and hearing that actually it like activates an anger center in my brain also maybe they could just get a render of the character from the front so if they're going to do the advertisement and paste the lips on it you know she's speaking from the front and not from the fucking side of her mouth ha 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 omg why am i so bad at this ha 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 finish this level is easy right ha 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 I can't keep falling. Ha ha ha. Oh jeez. This is just brain rot, Vinny. I'll be collecting my disability payment from you when I get older. I normally don't tag, but you are unintentionally giving these games attention. Uh, which means a portion of us will try some of these and damage our brain cells. Oh no no no, my brothers and sisters in Christ, this is your choice completely. This is all terrible. If you- if you- if you deign to try these games, D-E-I-G-N. We're going to find out what that means right now. Do something that one considers to be beneath one's dignity. That was the correct word. If you choose to play these games, that is a problem of your own. This is all shit. Like, you know what kind of shit this is, chat? This is this kind of shit. Or this kind of shit. <laughs> Let's continue. Hey guys, it's me, Flying Gorilla, from my new app on the App Store, Flying Gorilla. It's a free download, so I hope you, you check it out. And, and I hope <laughs> I've seen that one. Good microphone. That's actually the best one. Just because it's self-aware enough to be funny. Like, this is a terrible microphone. It's me. Like, he's speaking like he's the gorilla. It's perfect. I still don't want to play that piece of shit game, but I like it. Is it self-aware? I don't... You know what? You're right. I don't know. Shakira. Shakira. Shakira, that's tú. Wow. Um, that was uh, that was a game. Shakira, 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 that's two. <sighs> Is this the one where she locked her baby in the washing machine? Oh no! I know what this is now! Wait. What- what's the game? What do you do in the game? You open a laundromat? So that... Like, l lonely housewives can sit on a washing machine? But what do you do in the game? What do you do in the game? I don't know what you do in the game. Doctor, we are losing the patient. Oh, Claire! just enough time to open up your shirt. Crank up the voltage. 10,000 volts. Claire! <sighs> Master Doctor 3D. <laughs> Chat, just think we're going to have a whole generation of kids trained on Master Doctor 3D and similar games to do work on us when we get older. 
it's going to be glorious. We're going to be fine. We're going to be just fine. In our old age, we're going to have the top care. Hello. Ah! Nasty. Mm. Hey, stop it. Nasty. <laughs> I, I I understand if you have to leave. I I understand if you have that was I actually looked away. The fungus and the scraping noise was actually like sickening. Again, that's training a future generation of podiatrists. So we're going to be just fine if our feet are problematic in the future. It's going to be great. Hmm. Uh, what? Why? Why would you do that? Why is this Jagoff got tampons in his nose? But what do you? What does that have? Do you have a phone? Yeah, what about it? Give this man triple seven draws for free. What? Is that um, not enough? Give him some legendary heroes as well. Chat, Whoa. have you noticed something <laughs> in the commercial? Do you have a phone? Yeah. Have, did, did you no, notice something in the commercial that wasn't out of, oh, nothing, oh, Okay. Sir, do you have a phone? Yeah, what about it? Give this man triple seven draws. Well, it's that she's wearing... Is that not enough? Like a, an, a, like a Christmas well. outfit. And it doesn't seem to be Christmas. <laughs> do you have a phone? Yeah. It's very strange. Help! Is that Ultra Hitler? Help! Huh. Help! Why aren't you sh- Help! I can't- I can't- I can't- I can't fucking- I can't- I can't do this anymore, chat. Like, Ultra Hitler was moving around like Bowser at the end of, like, Mario 3D World. And no one was helping her. Oh god. <laughs> At your sir. Copy that. Copy that. Yes. At your sir. Yes. Wait. Okay, let okay, let's go. Hello. Copy that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Wait, was that Beetle? From Zelda? No! Game of Empires. Game of Empires is the name of this trash. That's amazing. Oh man. Yeah, just throw some stolen Nintendo assets in there. That's that's good for you. That's a good thing to do. Smart with your with your game you got there, right? Chat, what do you mean, oh no? Oh, just drop, like, mud on her. That's smart. Why is there a tongue option? There's just a tongue option, isn't there? Yeah, we've- I don't know if we saw this exact one, but we've seen, um... We've seen ads of that game before, and they're all equally wretched. Wow. You're playing Stellar Arcana too? I just captured a dolly. She's already at two billion combat power. I've already captured Wait, billion or million? It's a big She's difference. She's already at four million combat power. Give me a break. Cut it out! I have a ten million mutant mandrake. Oh, he's so strong! 
because I've completed the hero's path. Log into Stellar Arcana daily and you can receive a Mirren Mandrake too. <laughs> With massive critical hit damage. No Boy, this game looks like number spam the game. Download sure, sure Stella want Arcana that. And catch legendary pets. I'm gonna catch some legendary pets with some good acting. Oh my god, stop, bro, I'm stuck. Can you help me? Oh no. Oh, I see. Oh no. Is this going where I think it is? It's taking a while for anything to happen. What was the, uh, the devil emojis? <laughs> and that's how they get you. And chat, don't you for a second think that you want to know now. Because you know what's going to happen. You do not need that game. Do not give them the time of day or money for that. Did you see his hands? I saw how he did it. I saw how he did it. He just turned the machine on. That's what the devil horns were. Is this an Austin Powers gag? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Wow. Austin Powers parody with Austin Powers parody music, but Family Guy art style. Wait, no. No! No! Good more farts. This is the worst segment of all fucking time. But that game? That's game? That's the game? That's game? What is game? What is game? We're almost done, chat. The, the nightmare is almost over, I promise. No! Aliens hover up above. We're shooting them down. It is time for them to retaliate. <laughs> or at the very least, they should download Finger Fantasy on their on their on their Android devices. What is the game? No, 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 no more of this. Looks like you've run out of luck. Let me see what you've got. Gold hand, Hamas, <laughs> Salune, Astroth, and Sil and Sylvanas. <laughs> Can't believe you've got all this for free. I can do this all day. <laughs> nice Nerf gun. Stop! Who knows a PvP champion can also find so dirty? Let him go! Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Shouldn't you be busy in the open beta? Figure fantasy? Let me guess. Oh, it's figure fantasy. I thought it was finger fantasy. Sucking up to your precious players. Right. What did you say? Otherwise, how could those people have never paid to beat my heroes in one second? Ah! Oh. This noob doesn't know anything about our pack coupon. Oh my god. Pack coupon? Do we have to keep saying it? You don't need to spend a pin in this game. Just enter the pack coupon. You'll get tons of draw tickets and resources. And get to kill the bosses effortlessly with the strongest one. Effortlessly. Huh. Looks like the joke's on me. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? I, at least it was a good ending. At least there was a good ending. This is the last one, chat. Pee in his mouth. What do you mean pee in his mouth? What do you 
me in Peter's mouth. This was the last one. This is the last one. I guess, yeah, no, no. There's the poop. If you put the put toilet paper in, that'll help and... and <laughs> Good. Very nice decision. That's what you get from peeing in your husband's mouth, I guess? <laughs> that was the last one. Yeah. This was bad. One of the worst. Hello. Stop. Please. No, no, no. No more. No more. Please don't murder Mike. I, I'm just never gonna get uh, videos from him again, ever. But that's okay. That is fine. Soul food. Chat, this was maybe one of the worst ones yet. Oh, wow. The good news is I don't have any more. I, and it's not all Mike. He only gave me like five, five or six videos. The rest of this is other chat members that do not walk with christ that have sent me all this crap and also some of my own research <laughs> so you know i can't blame other people 100 percent, but uh it, it's bad this is you know what though truthfully like this is just the state of what these ads look like i can't believe that they're real i just can't believe they're fucking real and um it's pretty bad and again, a lot of it's aimed at kids. And I guess it works because they're still making them. And mobile market is even bigger than the console market. So it's all fucked. I guess thank you for watching this crap with me. Um, I feel nothing anymore. So why don't we... Um, someone said bring back the poops. Oh, okay. As if what we just saw wasn't better than the poops. The poops could have been beautiful. Vinny, I would have preferred you just show your butthole for an hour than that ad for five seconds. All the same sane chat member, by the way. The most sane, most normal chat member. Um, listen, the poops will come back one day, but the program doesn't always work, and it usually just ends up being loud noises. So, one day they will return. Up until then, though, you will have to just be patient for the poop. We're going to take a break. I will be back with a lost Mario comic that has audio narration. It's going to be interesting. Something different. It's a full comic. It should be interesting. Um, and then after that, getting weird with it. So stick around and I will return after the break. Thank you for watching this shit because that's what it was.